Hello, housemates, and welcome back to Avernum, Escape from the Pit. We are digging, not digging, walking our way into this bat cave. Uh, so we found a lot of bats, we found some rats, and we're down here to complete a side quest. The bat swarms one. We'll get a bounty from Gary the Innkeep and Silvar once we clear out this cave. I assume that they're going to be some sort of nasty fire-breathing bats. Uh, let's take this opportunity to level up. All right, so um, one point to spend. Uh, let's put his endurance up. All right, combat. Um, uh, hardiness. I can I can't decide between sort of getting at least some amount of skill up in all of these, uh, except that one, uh, or sort of doubling down in these things. Um, let's go ahead and start building upwards a little bit, and then we can reinforce, because uh, he has no chance at all to parry until you give him this skill. And so then he has a little bit of a chance. Uh, so I think, yeah, that's the best way to do it. Okay, uh, one more point to spend. I don't know if I'll bother making him quick. I'll just have him be good at uh, fighting. Can we get one of these yet? Yeah, all right. So, traits available. Okay. Um, quick learning, nimble fingers, backstab, good health. Improved endurance, sure hand. Wow, there's a lot of these. Quick learning. Increase the experience you earn by 5%. Yeah, always take that kind of thing. All right, how about you? All right, so we want to make you... Why can't I get this? Do I have to have both of these? Is that how that works? Oh wait, I have to spend over here first. Durr. Um All right, let's... Uh, you're doing fine with hit points. So the sharpshooter makes you more effective, better chance to hit, increases damage by 4%, chance to hit by 1. So we'll get one of those. Lethal blow. So we're going to make this person... Um, do we want to do that? Can I unspend that? Yeah. <coughs> I, yeah, we can do that because then we still have our priest to make melee, so we'll uh, remarkable speed with missile weapons. Yeah. All right, let's just give everyone quick learning um, because that seems like a good idea, and that way people will level up at the same pace. Um, we want to make you sort of more combat oriented. Be another point in this. And then we needed to improve our arcane lore because there's that book in the bandit fortress that we couldn't read. So we need to make sure to do that. Uh, it can be easy to forget to do your lore stuff um, so you just you just have to be careful to remember. Otherwise, you'll have to write down a whole bunch of lists of places that you need to go back to in order to. Um, I'm going to give this person some more hit points now. In order to get all the e extra little spell boosts that you need. And that's quick learning for everyone. Hooray! So. Quick learning seems like really good. Now they're all getting 5% more XP, and that's great. Okay, let's keep going. Ah, right, yes, lava bats for sure. This is gonna be fun. I may, I'm gonna preemptively heal some people. I could have just used food, and that would have been smarter. All right, smoldering bat. 
these are smoldering bats as well. Hmm. All right. Yeah. All right, so we have, we're turning you into a missile weapon person. Uh, let's do protection here. And for you, let's daze people, see if that works. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, I wish I had some AoE damage spell. Fireball probably wouldn't work, but something like that would be great here. Alright. I missed. Alright. Um, yeah, just go ahead. Oh, you ran out of points. Um, let's summon some out here. Ow. Ow. No, I shouldn't put her up there. That's um, Oh, do you have... You don't have that yet. So... So you need to heal... Ye wait. Do you have any potions? You do. Then you still have AP left to do something else, namely, no, um, attack. I'm wondering if fire is actually going to hurt these things. No, I didn't think so. Alright, starting to get a little bit hairy here. Um, <clears throat> I don't think my priestess has enough hit points to really be doing what I have her doing yet. Um, so I'm going to back her up. I'm going to have her heal herself. Um, I guess we're just going to have to stick with dazing here. And then just have him try and clean up the bats. And you can do some smiting. The smiting is, I believe, ice damage, if I remember correctly. Um, you can just sit here. Ha! Repose! Nice. Good targeting AI there, worm. More bats up here, so we are not out of the woods yet. Mage is going to be pretty useless here. That's all right. Uh -huh. Keep smiting. Ow. Ooh, that hit everyone. That was nasty. All right, so do you have any... Take that. Show you breathe fire on me, jerk face. Right. Bats are being reduced. Now I'll move you up and do some attacking since there are fewer bats to worry about. Oh, come on. At least I only hit one. That bat is terrified. As well it should be, for we are fierce. I guess this bat doesn't... Oh, there it is. I thought it didn't see us. Alright, let us smash this bat. Alright, there's still more.
make it come back. Alright, you can't do that from right there. Okay. That was a bunch of bats. Took a bit of damage there. Came on top in the end. Ooh, chain mail. Fancy. Silver necklace. Heavy boots. Energy potion, fine cloak. Looks like there's a shield on the ground here. An iron shield. All right, we're getting some fancy stuff now. Um, let's go ahead and try and deal with... Okay, we can drop this crude dagger. It's garbage. And put on this chainmail vest. Crude dagger is garbage. Okay, so let's move this shield over to him. The heavy boots over to him. Do you use a shield? You could use a shield. Crude dagger. Crude bow. Lens. Okay, can you use a shield? Will that work? Yeah, alright. Um, you can also put on this helmet. Alright, so you have a fine cloak. Another fine cloak was on offer. Did you already have a fine cloak? No, you have a regular cloak. Class it up, dude. Alright. Let us continue. There are, I was about to say, no doubt, more bats, and I was right. Oops. Not really meant to do. I forgot that I had un. Uh, missile weaponed him. Of course. Great. Fine. That's why you can't cast mage spells. You are almost out of mana. Heal yourself. You, I guess, try and raise this bat so it doesn't breathe fire on us again. In case it doesn't have any kind of cooldown. Pretty bad news. Alright, everyone is missing. There we go. Let's see if there are further bats in here. There might be. Oh. You do have to be fairly close to each other in order to um, end combat. Let's no, give her some food. All right, whatever. Let's see what we have here. A laboratory. Is there going to be another crazed mage in here? Ow, ow. Oh, come on. Yeah, I see that. Okay, um. Well, this is bad. Drink this energy potion. Um, let's protect. Probably can't be dazed, they're probably immune. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Um. Well. something here. Hmm. 
we can, I guess, use this. Okay. Um, we already have protection on. Um, the remake, re what the, what the hell is happening? Oh god, I'm screwed. Um. Bandages are not helpful. All right. Um. God, I'm just gonna get totally toasted here. All right. What? Spine shield. Oh yeah, that's what I thought I was gonna do. All right. So this is bad. I mean, I guess I just need to kind of. Okay. Um. Hell. I just need to kill. Some of these things. So oh, no. oh, oh, it's terrible. Um, we got one down. So I was not expecting this kind of stuff here. No, searing slimes and barrow whites. Um, right. Do you have anything else interesting? Do that. It's a shame to have to use all that stuff, but you know, that's what it's for to be used eventually. Let's see if we can get rid of these critters. You are not in good shape. I should have thought about that. Undead are usually immune to ice stuff. Right. Ow. This is all very bad. Um, barrel white ghouls. They're regenerating. So, what's this? Curse of Karunos. I don't want, I feel like it's a bad thing to use. Spell wards, I already have a ward, so that's not a good idea. Shielding potion. Can I, I want to give that. I guess I can't give in combat. Oh, I can, here. You take that. Um, Switch. Right, we do definitely need to heal this one and cure. No, something happened. Se Searing slime gets. Who cast that? Ugh. Alright, do you have any special interesting things? I don't. Okay. These are sort of going okay. Alright. We gave you a shielding potion.
Backstab is good here. Okay, so it looks like we are going to survive. A little bit rough there. We had to use a lot of our random items that we've been accruing, but that's fine. First, really sort of tough combat we've run into. And this Barrow White, I think, is the thing that was doing the most harm to us. Um, I don't think we're protected anymore. Man, this guy's tough. Barrow White? No. Oh, he's got a cleave ability. That's fun. Oh, come on. Ugh. There we go. All right. Ooh, that was rough. Now, so here we are in some kind of laboratory. Got some money, got another iron shield on the ground, got an iron dagger, skull, pustulant greaves. Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. Put them on. Why don't you put on these greaves? What else is in here? Uh oh. You find an ancient stone altar, well worn by the ceaseless drops of water falling from the ceiling above. The carving of a bat is still barely visible on its front, set with several gemstones. This altar has been abandoned for a long time. The stones are worth some cash, but you would have to pry them loose. Well, <clears throat> anyone who's ever played any one of these games know when you do something to an altar, bad shit happens. <sighs> um, you know what? Let's see what happens. You easily pry the first stone out. They look like they're worth a fair amount of money. As you ease the second one out of its setting, there's a flash of light and sulfurous smoked. smoke. Three, uh, three, fanged, clawed, demonic horrors appear in the room attracted by the desecration of this dark altar. Happily, they aren't very large, so you might survive. Okay, let's see how screwed we are. All right. Um, wisdom crystal, nifty. All right, um, let's take the speed potion. Let's walk up to this imp. Okay, he didn't do that much damage. We might not be in that much trouble here. All right. No use in wasting the spell ward yet. We don't, oh wait, we should give this to the priest. Um, we don't know whether or not they're actually gonna cast spells. I have an inkling that they might. Yeah, they're not that tough, okay. Do you have an Iron Spear equipped? No. Well, you should. And go. Yeah. All right. This isn't so bad. At least not yet. Let 
We'll just hope that nothing else decides to show up after we defeat these things. And we will defeat these as quickly as possible, just in case something is going to show up. These imps are slapping me. Unacceptable. Okay, great. Okay, so we got that wisdom crystal. Uh, when you hold it up to your ear, you hear whispering and it's gain knowledge. It doesn't really say anything more specific than that. Um, I think this prob does this, this might affect only one character. So I'm tempted to give it to the character who's gonna need the most skills, um, which is probably gonna be, it's gonna be one of our spellcasters because I want to make my priestess a sort of uh, hybrid battle uh, fighter caster. And then, of course, the mage just needs tons and tons of skills to be efficient. Um, I think I'm going to go with the priestess, see what happens here. Yeah, okay. It just gave her a lot of XP. Now we have this book. At some point, there were numerous stone tablets etched with runes on this pedestal. Cave quakes have knocked them loose and destroyed almost all of them but one remains. You might be able to decipher the odd writing. Well, let's give it a shot. You try to focus your eyes on the writing, but as you look, the letters shift and dance around. Sometimes you detect familiar words in the movements. After concentrating for a while, you were able to piece together a long, coherent message. You try to decipher it. You can improve your knowledge of the spell Ward of Steel here. So I need Arcane Lore to be 9, so yet another thing that I can't do yet. So I have to remember that this is here. I really need to improve the Arcane Lore of my people. Okay, so it looks like we've cleared this place out now. I didn't see any secret rooms. So I think we can head back and collect our bounty. All right. You find the remains of a campfire, a group of people, probably human, camped here. Looking to the east, you can see that the cave wall is heavily cracked. Perhaps someone could, with care, slip through one of those cracks. It might merit closer investigation. Okay, so I guess that's over here. I'm down with that. Aha. What did we find? There are a lot of supplies stored here, heaped around a cold, abandoned campsite. There's some water and goods for barter, and some nice javelins as well. You could easily search through the stacks and take everything useful. No doubt, whoever's cache this is will discover us as, uh, as we do this, and we'll have to fight. But here we go. We got iron javelin, 70 coins. No? No one found us? No. That's a surprise. Okay, where are we going? Bandit Keep. Let's go to the Bandit Keep for a moment so we can see if that um, book is legible to us now that we've gotten two more cave lore. Uh, arcane lore. All right, was that book upstairs? I can't remember. Probably. Someone's come through and, like, closed the door since we were here last. Here's the book. Try to decipher it. You can improve knowledge of the spell Call Beast. Did, did that actually work? I didn't see anything. No. I want you to read it. I don't know if that actually did anything. It says I could read it. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, Fort Dove, no. All right, so the innkeeper is the person we want to deal with. This is the end. Alice, 
Matthias, Jake. Wait. Is the innkeeper in Silvar? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oops. So down to Silvar we go. Alright, Gary. You tell Gary a heart-stopping tale of vicious battles against bats. He nods approvingly and presents you with a pouch of coins and a bronze broadsword. All right. Bronze broadsword. Going to be better than bronze short sword. Okay. What other quests do we have? Um, hot springs. We haven't found the hot springs yet. We haven't done that. We haven't done that. Okay. So, we can just we'll explore around the map a little bit more before we end this episode. Just to see what we see. Are these herbs? You are on a swampy outcropping in the middle of a large, stagnant pool. The smell is awful. You discover a small patch of bright green moss. Some of the tufts are quite fresh, and you recognize them as a variety used in healing potions. Take it. Oh, this looks like it could be a hot spring. There is a small spring, a pleasant counterpoint to the bare rock of this area. The runoff forms a small creek running down to the river to the south. You take a drink and turn away. As you do, you notice you have company. You have been drinking at something's watering hole. Okay, not a hot spring. Then. You encounter, oh, I could escape their notice. I think that's through cave lore. But um, we're, we're all buffed, not buffed up, we're, uh, we have all of our um, life and mana points, so let's see what we can get. Oh, damn it. Uh, can I re-encounter that? Well, that was stupid. I clicked the wrong button. Here's some Nephil. There's a tunnel into the rock wall not far north of the lake. There are campfires at the entrance, and smoke rises into the still air of the cavern. Two groups of Nepharim sentries are camped not far from the entrance. Nepharim are far more dangerous than Nephilim, and if you could manage to avoid it, if you can manage it, avoiding them might be wise. Okay, uh, we may not be ready for that yet. Shreds of broken armor and weapons indicate some sort of battle or ambush took place here. The blood smears on the ground are still fresh since there's no rain down here to wash them away. You aren't sure who is fighting who. Right. Lots of little just flavor encounters here. That's some. What's this again? Entering goblin caves. Okay, so we'll do the goblin caves next time around. Um, who knows? Goblins can be nasty in this game. There are some like goblin shaman and stuff like that that can really mess you up. So hopefully we're not in above our heads. I uh, hope you liked this video and our bad extermination and our impromptu unexpected fight with slimes and ghouls and stuff. Um, if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more of my Avernum Escape from the Pit content, well, there's a lot more of this game to come, so you're in for a treat. And if you're not going to watch me slaughter bats and goblins, well, I don't care what you do. <laughs>